You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we have got to talk about Steve Burton's first air date when he's back as Jason Morgan. We have new info and some fan feedback on Jason's first new plot when he's back on the ABC Soap. So we're going to unpack all of the latest info. Be sure to click subscribe if you haven't already. And now let's get into this. Steve Burton was back on the set at General Hospital, likely in late December, because the little promo revealing his General Hospital return aired on the 60th anniversary primetime special that was January 4th. So they would have filmed it a few days before then, probably. That's not, you know, it takes longer than you think to film something. When you see a 30 second thing on a show, you have to figure that's probably an hour's worth of work to get something like that right. You know, soap actors do work a little faster than other movie sets that I've been on, but still. So Burton was not back filming new scenes for the soap at that point. Just that little promo with the three doors revealing Jason was back to Port Charles soon. And we had, you know, Kelly Monaco and Laura right there as well. If you don't remember, Burton exited in late 2021 because Disney handed down a vaccine mandate on some shows, and one of them was General Hospital. Burton said he chose not to get vaccinated, so he had to exit and said they parted ways. He insisted he had no hard feelings when he left GH. And, you know, in the meantime, then Burton landed a gig at Days of Our Lives where he began his daytime career as Harris Michaels way back in 1988. And he just wrapped a one year stint at Days and that wrapped up in, let me see, December, late December 2023. And he wasted no time in inking a new deal with GH because as soon as he found out Days wasn't renewing him, then he said things with GH happened really fast. So I think the last couple of months of the year, they ironed everything out now that GH no longer has a mandate in place. So we've suspected for a while that... Jason's face would pop back up in February sweeps, but he just said he starts filming the week of February 5th. If the usual four week tape to air delay applies, then he'd pop up in early March. But I wonder if we're not going to get a little glimpse of him or a tease of him right at the end of February sweeps because it's so close. They could definitely edit it in. At least a glimpse of, you know, someone in profile, someone in a black leather jacket, even if they don't show his face. If you recall, the last time that Jason Morgan came back on General Hospital, he was stuck in that institution overseas, that hospital place. He was in like a muzzle kind of mask and they were calling him patient six. So they might do something similarly dramatic where he's partially hidden and you don't see all of him. They could have even used an extra, you know, just in a black leather jacket with a hand or something, you know. Fans on Soap Social Media have some very intense ideas of how they'd like to see Jason Morgan come back. So I curated the best ones and I just wanted to share these with you and I definitely want your comments with your ideas about how you'd like to see Steve Burton relaunched onto General Hospital as Jason Morgan and some of these really made me laugh. So first several people many people in fact want to see Jason deal with Drew some of them in more extreme ways than others. One person said Jason's first order of business should be to kill Drew. (laughs) That seems extreme. Um, Some fans, if you haven't seen this on social media, refer to Drew as Drewfus, which is funny. Uh, So another one said Drewfus lost his mind and Jason needs to deal with him. So that's pretty funny. 
All right. The second thing, another pile of people now suspect that Jason is the one who's shooting at Sonny. A lot of people now think this could be true. I mean, there are some red flags pointing that way, such as that the person may be an insider because they know their security protocols. But one naysayer dismissed this Jason idea by giving one, I mean, pretty important piece of actual factual history. They said the Metricourt shooter and the one firing at Sonny's place on the island can't be Jason because Stone Cold doesn't miss when he takes shots at people. I think he has missed sometimes, but generally he's a crack shot, right? Another interesting suggestion is that Brennan and the WSB brainwashed Jason after Valentin Cassidyne smuggled his body out of Greece to give to the Pikeman slash WSB people. Very detailed theory, pretty interesting, but lots of fans are shouting that Jason can't be brainwashed because of his past brain trauma, and that's why they stole Drew and brainwashed him instead. But the writers at GH are going to do what they want, and as a viewer, you should know that by now. So even if the idea of brainwashing him violates his medical history, that won't stop them. So just brace yourselves for that. Another fun suggestion, but is ludicrous, I think, is that Jason is Cyrus's pawn and he's controlling him. This to me feels like something that would not happen at all. Not at all. Nor do I think Jason would be the one working for Cyrus to kill Austin Gatlin Holt unless they're going to rewrite that recent history. Austin recognized the person that was in his house that night, the person that shot him. And yes, he and Jason did have a brief overlap when Austin first came to town and Jason is a Quartermain, so he probably knows his face. But Austin, like everybody else, thinks Jason died, so he would have been shocked to see a dead man in his house. I don't think he would have said what he said if he saw a walking corpse in his living room. All right, another pile of fan requests were that no matter what he's doing, please no Jason around Carly and Sonny, several fans said. That's pretty funny because that's where Jason always was, either doing Sonny's bidding or dirty work or covering up for one of Carly's schemes. Of course, he's going to be around them. Another similar suggestion was that Jason comes back not as Jason Morgan, but as Jason Quartermain and him going back to medical school, being a good guy, raising his kids, being a doctor, not being involved in mob stuff anymore. Not very soapy, but very sweet. And here's one more very interesting thing. There's some chatter that there was a plot written for Jason's return and it was scrapped And they went back to the drawing board and started over. So the rumor continues and said that the now fired head writers, Dan O'Connor and Chris Van Etten, wrote a return for Steve Burton's character and that the powers that be hated that so much. That's why they fired them. This is just chatter and rumors. The rumors say that they hired replacement writers to do it better, to bring Jason back with a better storyline. So my two cents on this, I doubt that one little bad return storyline would be the root cause for their firing, but maybe it was the straw that broke an already frustrating situation where they weren't happy with their writing. You know, there's been problems with weak writing for years at GH. Drop storylines, contradictions, retcons, you know. If it is true that the old writers mucked up Jason's return plot, though, and they had to scrap it and then got replacement writers, that would also explain the delay in Steve Burton's filming start date. They were fired the third week of January, and he is starting the week of February 5th. So that actually kind of all aligns. It's still in the rumor chatter category, but it kind of, you know, it does align to what the timeline of what we're seeing. So I certainly hope if this is all true, that the new plot was worth all this trouble and it is spectacular and Jason Morgan comes back in style. I guess we'll see in a few weeks. Hey, drop your comments. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely come back soon. I'm Belinda from Soap Dirt here talking GH with you seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast. 
because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 